Sprains are extraordinarily common, whether you're a high-level athlete, a weekend warrior, or even just take a misstep off of a curb. Oftentimes, sprains can be treated without surgery and a diligent course of physical therapy and strengthening, but sometimes those problems can linger and require surgery. An ankle sprain occurs when there's a, a kind of a forced rotation of the foot or rolling over of the foot. Most commonly, it's the outside of the ankle that's involved, two ligaments primarily. The sprain is a stretching or tearing of those ligaments, and it's not that they tear in half and, and they're no good anymore. Typically, it's, it's kind of more of a stretching of those ligaments. And in truth, it results in laxity. Your, your ankle will move in ways that it shouldn't for a period of time. But more often than not, the body heals that, that sprain with scar tissue that actually becomes tighter than it normally is. And that's really one reason for physical therapy after an ankle sprain. Stress fractures are also very common. They commonly occur for a variety of reasons. It's either that there's something abnormal about the bone or that you've asked the bone to do something abnormal. And what I mean by that is that in some way you've increased your activity faster than the bone can strengthen itself. Now typically stress fractures in the foot, generally the pain is on the top of the foot. There may or may not be much in the way of swelling, but there's usually tenderness, meaning that if you push on the area, it is sore to touch. So if you've had a change in activity, been doing a little bit more and develop pain that hurts when you walk or certainly hurts more when you try to run on it, that's concerning for a stress fracture. 